Hello guys, Lee Powell back here in today with another video on Call of Duty. In this video, as you can tell from what day it is, so it's currently Thursday, which means it's another video for the for the online safety for kids series. So, so this video is going to be so you've seen my last video on of, of the series of, of online safety for kids, the gaming edition. This one is going to be a website edition. It's about like, like how to check if websites are real or fake. So yeah, so yeah, guys, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So yeah, and I just like before I'm doing this on Call of Duty. Yeah, so just like before I'm doing this on Call of Duty to make it easier. I don't see well, it's Thursday, so I'm making Call of Duty video every Thursday. So it makes sense. Well, yeah, guys, so, yes, obviously, like I said before, every week is going to be a different, it's going to be different, like a different, like it's still going to be the same series, but it's just going to be about different things. So, I hope you saw the last part of the video of Unsafety for Kids, which, it, which was gaming editions that had to be safe of games. But this one's going to be about websites so yeah guys so so to put so the main a to keep safe online by using by going on websites is by looking out for the padlock so if you're on like like a computer like a pc or, or it might work on laptops i don't know but it definitely works on computers if you go onto a website then keep an eye out on the top bar where it says the website link because there's a padlock always there. So if you see a black padlock, then that means the website is secure and that means it's safe. But obviously, so, so before you go onto a website, always look. Okay, so like when you're on a website. I always look for the padlock. Free for all. CDP, get kinetic. But yeah, guys. So, so that's the main thing you have to focus on when you when you're online and looking at websites is that padlock. And it's always and it will always pop up with a black padlock. Yeah, so it will always pop up as so. Uh, so every padlock that is on a website is always black, and you have you never need that's anything you have a website. That's all you need to look for is that padlock. So that's the main way to keep safe through a website. Another way. It is if you if you want to go onto a website, always check with an adult before you go onto a major website. So, for example, like a gaming. So, for example, let's say for example, Friv. Okay, so Friv is a website which is just packed of games. So, before you go onto a website like that, because Friv has literally, I'm not even kidding here. here. Friv has literally hundreds of games on it. So, but still, I was like, even if the website has a pad, uh, you might need to check with if it's still, even though if it has a padlock on it, it means the website is secure. Or even if the website has, has a padlock on it, it's still safer to go and check with an adult, it, whether that's a teacher, an adult family member, whether that's whether that either like is or even like, or even like a friend. Profit waste. Yeah. So. So, yeah, they're just the they're just like the main few ways to keep safe online. Oh my god, GG. 
Like I was just waiting there, okay. I don't really bothered. Because I'm just playing Call of Duty for the video, uh, because obviously it is a lot easier. And obviously, just remember that every Thursday is a new video for the series. Enemy down. Is there anyone here? Yeah, there is. Oh my god, GG. That must have been so close to death. But yeah, guys, so... Checking time, Delta. Yeah guys, so they're, so they're just the main few ways to keep safe when you're online. But yeah. So... It's like... If you're on a website and you do... Get confused... Then... Just go and, just go and find the nearest adults. And let them check the website for you. Just to make sure... Or that the website is safe. Kill. So it's like an adult, or is it safe? Uh, so if you're not 100% sure if the website's safe or not, then always go and check with an adult. Whether, like I said before, whether that's an adult family member, or a member of staff at a school, or anything like that. Yeah. But yeah, guys, so, yeah, there's just the main few ways to keep safe online. But obviously, but obviously, these are things, that, yeah, yeah, I'm not making this online safety series just because it's fun. I'm making this video to make sure that kids, especially like little kids, like below the age of 10, are safe when they're online. Obviously, there's only so much I can cover from an online perspective. Yeah, Hostile so... UAV above. Oh, someone out here as well. Okay. Nope, we're not here. Yeah, so... From an online, from an online perspective, there's only so much I can do. From an online perspective, yeah, there is only so much I can do. So it's easy. Uh, let's see. There's so, like, 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 there are so many users. There, yeah, there are so many people that you use online equipment. So, Ruin wasted. So, so the so, 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 so the so the so the most I can do is make these videos for the series and create a whole series dedicated to keeping kids safe online. So, yeah, but yeah, they're just the main few ways to keep safe when you're online. But yeah, but but some of them things that I talked about before or about being safe online, that depends what you do when you're online. Yeah. So, but what I was talking about before or with the pad lock. Yeah. So what I was talking about before or with that pad lock. If it is a secure website, every secure website should have a padlock. Even if the, even if it collect like like this is a thing that you can do through technology. Yeah, like people can make like website and literally like 
like, like they can't like put a verified tick on. They can't put the padlock on uh, without it being verified. Like, but I don't know. They can maybe like overlay an image of one of the exact padlocks and put that in its normal place. So it's so it's a dangerous website. But to anyone who looks at it, it hit that they'd say it's a safe website. And this is the thing that. Uh, this is what makes being online very dangerous to kids because they can't always tell if it's safe or not. But yeah, guys, so. I'm going to to get 25 kills, but. Thank you, dude. Death Dodger, okay. Oh my god! Didn't even give me reaction time. Wow. But yeah, guys, so. Yeah, that's only like the main few ways. Just, I mean, like, there are loads of techniques of how to keep safe when you're online. Yeah, but. They're just like the solid first few. So, obviously. Is some techniques of being of being safe online through website it does just depend on what you do as a person. Oh yeah, just get outplayed, GG. But yeah. So obviously it's different for every single person when they're online. Approaching PONR. Finish this. So, yeah, guys. So that's just like the main few ways to be safe when you're online. But like I said before, they're the main few. Is there any? Yeah, there are only uh, round over. outgunned and out of love. But yeah, guys, so that's just that's just the main few ways to keep safe online. Whew. Yeah, guys, so... I'll meet you back in the lobby, but yeah. But yeah guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video of online safety for kids for how to be safe when you're on websites. But yeah guys, so that's all from me today. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, turn notifications up everything, the little bell like on and leave me a comment down below just saying like any other video ideas you want me to do, or any or any other additions you want me to do for this series? But yeah, but also please subscribe to my channel because because we are over halfway to 100 subscribers. So if you could please subscribe, that would make my day. And when we do hit 100 subscribers, the video I'm going to make, my 100 subscriber special, is going to have a surprise in it. But I'm not going to say what it is until we hit 100 subscribers. But yeah guys, so if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe and turn notifications on button the bell icon and leave me any suggestions in the comment section below or any questions from my Q&A in the future. But yeah guys, that's all from me. And I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. But until then guys, stay happy and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.